John C. Fremont hit deep snow, got bogged down, and left the cannon to be recovered at a later time. It's a treasure. Make it a prize trophy between the two universities. We'll call it the Fremont Cannon. And that's how the Fremont Cannon came about. They would announce in the Fremont Cannon's ready, the crowd would stand up and roar. Even today, both sides know what the battle for Nevada is all about. It's not close. I mean, the tradition and history of that cannon at the University of Nevada, it is special. It's implanted. And he's crushed, throws it right to a defender as it's intercepted. It's Drew Watts as he stays up. One thing I can tell you about losing it is it's the worst feeling. There's always just a tremendous amount of emotion that went into this game. We were one AA program, they were a 1A program, and for us, it, we had a chip on our shoulder, right? We always had something to prove. We've got a, a beautiful facility here at Mackey Stadium, but they always had something that was a little bit better. So we always had something that we needed to prove. You know, frankly, he didn't have to motivate us that much. Like I said, we had the chip on our shoulder, and, and we were, we had something to prove when it came to playing UNLV. Keen is in the pistol, first and 10 for the two, handoff in the end zone. Gilliams tackled in the end zone, that'll be a safety. Boom! Davion Blackwell with a tackle on Gilliam.